Scanning environment. Reactor chamber. Status update. Power offline. This is Eden with Helix VR. Today I'll be reviewing Detached for the HTC Vive and Oculus Rift. Detached is a zero-g puzzle adventure style game. You have to manoeuvre yourself around the levels, completing a variety of simple puzzles and collecting power-ups along the way to unlock paths. For example, you may need to quickly boost through a gate before it closes, shield yourself so you don't become a smear on the wall, and shoot objects before the timer runs out to activate the switch. There is also a level of resource management, with the need to keep topped up on fuel and oxygen to survive which can be found throughout the world. This is fairly easy on arcade difficulty, but becomes more difficult on higher difficulty settings. The controls in this game are worth a mention, as they're done in quite an interesting way. You control your directional thruster with your left hand, and the roll, pitch and yaw with your right. If you're not careful, you can spin completely out of control. As I found out, it is possible to die from crashing hard enough. That said, Warning. if you I master it, you have an incredible amount of freedom in how you move. That's speaking of the motion controls, of course. This game actually does have support for gamepad and increased. keyboard as well. Now, with this talk about controls comes a warning. If you get motion sick easily, this game is not aimed towards you. It does have settings to reduce it by creating a black border during movements, but even so. Between style of locomotion and the times of uncontrolled locomotion, it can induce motion sickness easily for those prone to it. As such, I recommend playing this game seated, but you can play it seated or standing. I personally found the locomotion enjoyable, but didn't really feel that way about the puzzles and objectives, which, to me, were fairly tedious. It felt like I was just doing the same thing or very similar things repeatedly. Now, so far I've been talking about the single player experience mostly. This is because the multiplayer is basically dead. Unless you are extremely lucky, the only method to play multiplayer is arranging a game with someone. This is a pity as the multiplayer sounds more interesting. It's a 1v1 capture the flag game, which could really be a lot of fun with the style of locomotion. Now, another reason this is a pity is that the single player mode is approximately an hour and a half long, which is quite short really. Now, graphically is where the game shines. The environments look brilliant, and it's well above most VR games in that way. I've had no issues with graphical performance either. The background music fits well too, and was actually composed by someone who worked on the music for The Witcher 3 and The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Now, looking at the pricing for the game, I feel it's quite high. It's $25, 23 euros, or £19. Now, if the multiplayer was full, perhaps it would be a different story, but I find it difficult to justify the price based on the amount of gameplay most people get out of this. Now, I feel this game could have been quite good. There's definitely fun to be had with this, and it's certainly one to appreciate for its uniqueness and the use of VR to do something different than usual. That said, there are quite a few improvements which could be made, such as more interesting puzzles, or more to do really in general. And as such, I'd not really recommend paying the asking price for it based on the length of gameplay and the dead multiplayer and the tedious tasks. Perhaps if you and a friend both picked up on discounts play together, then it'd be worth it, but not as it stands. I can understand where they're coming from in the pricing due to the production value, but that alone doesn't make it worth it in my eyes. It is a pity as when I played this I felt like I really wanted to like it. It sounds potentially great, but it just falls flat, at least to me. Once again, this was Eden from Helix VR. If you'd like to see more content like this, please remember to like and subscribe. <laughs>